back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing Book Talk Episode 8 on The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. Now I started this book back in the end of September and I just finished it recently so it took me about a month to read this book which isn't typical of me with books that I like. At the most it would take me maybe a week to finish a book of this size. But I didn't love this book and I think that's why it took me so long to work through. The plot of it overall I found interesting and I'll get into what that is like in a second but it just I wasn't engrossed in what was going on I it was enjoyable to read definitely but it just wasn't like catching me and wanting me to stay for more so it ended up taking me a long time to read this so um, the Rook follows our main character Miffany Thomas and at the very beginning of the book she wakes up in a park surrounded by dead bodies with no memory of how she got there. Whilst trying to wrap her head around what the heck has happened, she reaches her hands into her pockets and inside she feels two envelopes. One marked envelope one and one marked envelope two. And so in the first envelope, she opens it up and reads it and it basically says, you have woken up in Miffany Thomas's body and it's written from the old Miffany Thomas. And this is a theme that we'll notice throughout the book is that we read a lot of letters, letters from old Miffany to new new Miffany. So in this letter, it gives her instructions to go to a bank where she'll find two safety deposit boxes. One gives her the choice to abandon old Miffany's life and start a, name, a new name for herself, or to go back to the old Miffany's life and continue on as Miffany once was. She has full intentions of starting her new life. Um, until a situation happens at the bank before she's able to open the safety deposit box. She is basically jumped by three people, and in an attempt to defend herself, she ends up rendering them how the people at the park were rendered, unconscious on the ground, with no idea how she just did that. This time she has her memories with her. So it clearly doesn't have to do with having memory loss, so she's looking at herself and thinking, oh my god, do I have magic powers? And so, with that, she decides to open the safety deposit box B, which gives her the keys to Miffany's old life. From there, she learns that Miffany is a part of a government agency called the Chequee. And the Chequee basically deals with all things supernatural. It is styled off of like a game of chess, so there's different, the different positions that you can hold in the Chequee are a rook, which is Miffany. There's a bishop, a chevalier, a pawn, and retainers. And so, we basically follow Miffany's story as she tries to come back into the Chequee and not give any idea that she is not the old Miffany Thomas. Uh, but that's not easy when you're working for a government agency and you hold a very high position. So, old Miffany, who um, our main character refers to as Thomas, which is Miffany's last name, has prepared a binder and a whole bunch of letters to give new Miffany an idea of what was going on before she left. And so Miffany is al almost always found referencing this big purple binder that gives her a rundown of all the different companies that are in the world that she is associated with, all the different people that work within the Chequee. And I actually found reading that binder very interesting because it, I think it was a neat way to give quick backstory in a way where you also were getting new Miffany's commentary on like, oh my god, what the hell is this? And old Miffany's commentary because she's the one explaining it. So I thought that was really interesting. The thing about the book that just didn't grip me is that there wasn't much of a plot. <laughs> You're like, Brienne, what do you mean there's not a plot? There's not like a plot. <laughs> you follow her in the Chequee and it isn't until about halfway through the book that there's any conflict that's introduced. So really you're just watching some woman go through her day-to-day -day life. And because it is about a supernatural agency and she's lost her memory, it was interesting to read, but there was never really anything enticing me to come back for more. Um, and then once we did get to the main plot, I didn't really care about it. And I think the part of that is because New Miffany doesn't know how to care about it because it's something that is affecting everyone in the Chequee and it is a big deal for them, but Miffany doesn't really know what's up. She wasn't there when this original um, situation happened and is now coming back again. So she, she doesn't really care about it in a way that would make you think it's very important and you're always wondering what's going to happen. 
So that left it difficult for me as a reader, reading from Mithni's perspective, to get excited and interested about what was happening. Overall, I enjoyed this book. I think I gave it a three star, but it just, it fell short in gripping me, which was a bummer, but I did enjoy it. And I don't know that I would recommend this book to anybody, just in that I think you could get a similar story from a book that has an actual driving plot that you would get interested in. I did like the Chekwe. I did like the people within the Chekwe. I had a friend who really liked this book, so maybe it's just me and I didn't find it interesting. There is a second book in the series called Stiletto. I don't think I'm going to be picking it up just because this book, the way it ended, I'm not going to spoil it, but it felt very like conclusive, like this could have been a last book. It gives the idea that something more is going to happen in this world, obviously, because <laughs> the world will just continue even though the book is over, but it wasn't like there was a cliffhanger or I was left wanting more, especially because I didn't really want anything in the first place. <laughs> so I have looked into what the plot is for the next book. I don't think I'm going to be picking it up just because it, I don't think I'm interested in what it's talking about. Um, Overall, three out of five stars. I did leave a review on my Goodreads as well, which I will have linked down below. This is The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. I thought it was okay. So, thank you for watching my book talk. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I didn't have a lot to say about this book just because I didn't love it, and I don't want to give away everything that's in it in case someone else is interested in reading it. Because like I said, it was interesting to read, and I enjoyed what I read. I just wasn't hooked to keep coming back for more. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope to see you soon with another video. Bye-bye!